June is LGBTQ Pride Month, and Full Spectrum Community Outreach out of Youngstown is hosting its annual Pride in the Valley Festival this coming weekend. The festival comes at a time where support for the community is more important than ever. Now, Tim Bortner, founder of Full Spectrum, joins me now to talk about their role in the community and their continued outreach and events that are happening this month. Tim, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. So, I just read that the city of Pittsburgh is actually in the top 10 when it comes to cities and communities that are most accepting of the of the community. How do you think we're doing here now in the Youngstown area, in this area? I think we're doing very well. I've honestly, personally never had any problems, but that's not to say that we don't get clients that go through a lot of problems and have those situations. But I think we're doing pretty well in the Mahoney Valley, I do. Now, uh, in recent years, there have been some backlash to some some of the uh, the pride groups in, in the area uh, you said you haven't really had any issues is that true to that as well as far as uh, not having any pushback from some of the events that you've had no we really haven't I mean that's not to say that we're not prepared for that if something like that should come this weekend with our festival or something like that but we've never had any backlash and I hope to not and we all hope that yeah. All right. Well, Full Spectrum has been raising money for an LGBTQ center and shelter. Uh, you're, you're still raising the money. You're looking for an area. Tell us what that shelter would be and what it would be used for. Well, we're actually purchasing the old Hope House in Youngstown, which was a visitation center. We're closing on that next month. Uh, a partial part of that property will come with another space that will be housed as the first LGBT-friendly shelter in the Mahoney Valley, which currently right now there is nowhere to send people. We're having to send them out of the area. And if you grew up in this area and you became homeless of no fault of your own, you have to go to Pittsburgh or Cleveland or Kent, and that's just sad. And the places that are here, they're not supportive. And we have heard horrible stories of clients that have gone through horrible situations at local shelters because of who they love or who they identify as. And that's not right. How much have you been able to raise for this project, and how much do you need? We need a little bit around 28000 left to purchase the space. It's 80000 altogether, mm -hmm. and we're confident that we're going to make that goal by uh, mid-next month. If uh, people wanted to donate, how could they uh, send mm -hmm. it to you guys? They can go to our website at fullspectrumcommunityoutreach.org, mm -hmm. or through our social media, or to be involved in the festival this weekend, prideinthevalley.org. Now, you had some uh, training, some safe space training over the weekend. What did that entail? So this morning, we had a safe space oh, training. This morning. Okay. The safe space training this morning, and uh, it was a bunch of local educators as well as social workers and counselors from all over the valley that came to speak and came to learn about how to be more inclusive to the people that they work with. Now, what I meant was this coming weekend you're oh, yeah. having a festival that's where i got things mixed up <laughs> tell us about the festival and what's going to go on so this is our fourth year um, it's a huge festival it brings every walk of life and everybody in between from diversity to uh, to um, gender to sexual orientation and, and everything in between to allow them to be open and accepting in a safe environment we have over 100 vendors this year we have over 30 sponsors we have a huge youth area that we're adding this year more food vendors more entertainment uh, there's going to be facts all over the square about LGBT facts posted it's just going to be a huge event and we want people to come that are scared or that are don't understand us or accept us we want them to come to this event and have an open mind and learn that's what I always say if I can teach one person I've done my job right and having this festival is teaching people in the community to accept us and to love us and for that's, just, that's all we want. Isn't that what you want? I think it's what everybody wants. It is. It's true. All right, Tim Bortner from Full Spectrum Community Outreach. Thanks very much for joining us here Thank at you. WFMJ.